designer Shirley Meisels, who did an amazing job on renovating this house. Of course, it did not always look like this. So tell me, Shirley, what was this kitchen like uh, when you first bought the house before you renovated? Well, the layout was exactly like it is now. It looked as if it had been redone before, maybe in the 80s. It had like black inserts and yeah. it was high gloss white. So this house is from like the 70s or the late 60s? Built in 1960. Okay, good guess, right? There is still some retro references. There was a Melody Master intercom to talk to the front door. I guess. Cool. One of the things I really like in here is that you created this sitting area off your kitchen. So I think the natural thing for a lot of people would just put a big table in there and make it all dining. But you did a sofa area, like for sitting and lounging, and then a smaller dining area. So why did you make that decision? Partly because we had the furniture already. Oh. But <laughs> we're a hangout kind of gang. So okay. it's a nice way for everybody to be comfortable, be together, yeah. and still kind of do their own thing. So like open family living, really. Yeah. Okay, so Shirley, tell me what was happening here when you first moved in. There was was a very large black granite console okay. table, yeah. and it matched a huge black granite dining table. Yeah. So okay. that matched the high gloss 80s kitchen. And there was drapery over the windows yeah. on tracks, and it was very dark. Was this always accessible, the doors to the patio? The door was in the middle, so we shifted the door over just so that you'd have an easier passage by the table in and out. So when you're renovating, was there anything that was particularly challenging about this particular area? The windows were challenging. The exterior of the house is very textured. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like that ashlar stone, right? Yeah. And so to retrofit in the space was a bit of an engineering feat. Did you have to chip down the stones? They tried not to. In a couple yeah. of little places they did to fit the windows into the spaces. What about like getting in the marble or anything like that? Yeah, it's an old house, so there are really no straight, straight angles. Lines. Yeah. It was a bit of a trick making it all fit together to make it look like straight lines. Yeah. Exactly. What about the flooring? Because this was all tiled. That must have been one of the biggest jobs. The house is really well built. So the tiles were really hard to get out. <laughs> but we're really, really happy with the floors. And I love their durability. Yeah. And they hide everything. These are awesome floors. I have the same floors in my basement. They're the best thing with a dog that has blonde hair. Because you can't see it. I love that. Love it. <laughs> So obviously this kitchen looks so much better than it did before. I love that Shirley followed the same footprint of the original kitchen. She recognized that it worked. It worked especially well with the windows. And it's a great cost-saving move if you don't have to move your sink and your stove and your refrigerator. I think my favorite feature is the hood. I love that it's this big black box. It feels so graphic and it turns the stove into a big design moment and plays so beautifully off those black window frames. Again, I also like the finish on the cabinets, which has this lovely texture. So just having an all white kitchen can be really beautiful, but having a little bit of texture just gives it a subtlety that's actually really appealing. And the slim handles are super elegant. This is an unusual move. I think a lot of people are nervous to put lamps on their counter, but look how cool it looks. It's going to create a beautiful sense of ambient lighting, especially because there's no upper cabinets here so you need to bring it in in another way. I love the portrait of the queen because it just adds a little bit of humor in here and whimsy and a splash of red on the color there. On this side, I think having the glass cupboards makes a big difference. It just makes everything so much more open feeling. She's got a beautiful collection of white dishes which will always look good and it also turns the refrigerator into another design moment. I like as well that she chose to put in a smaller dining area as well as a seating area. So the whole family can gather in here. There's a place for the kids on the sofa, at the table, there's a TV. It's like this cool retro feeling family room. And I love the piece over her dining table, which Shirley told me is actually new, but it feels really vintage. And what's kind of fun is that she said that it's worn out a little bit really quickly and that's what makes it feel vintage. And the chairs are plastic, but they don't look like it. They look really elegant. I love the curve on the back, so they're super practical for kids at the dining table and the wall of art all the black and white theme which ties in really nicely with the whole decor of the house and their character pieces like this one with the horse <laughs> sticking out of the horse they're really unusual pieces in a nice grouping Overall, this kitchen is a great example of the power of an incredibly planned renovation. I love that it references its 60s heritage, but feels like a really good modern update. It's perfect for family living, and I love the black and white palette. It just pops. 